Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Darius Burgess coming to you with another video. And basically in this video, I'm going to be addressing some questions a, a guy had. And basically I'm pretty sure more people have um, pertaining to uh, certain roles in Amazon Fulfillment Center and basically like, uh, like how their system works as a whole. So basically in the last video, uh, the first thing I'm gonna address is the P P PTO, pay time off. Now PTO is pay time off. Like I said, PTO accumulates when you first start to give you 10 hours, you know what I'm saying, of pay time off. So you can literally use that 10 hours if you don't want to go in one day out of the out of the month or whatever. And over time, now when I was when I started back in March or whatever, they were giving us like three hours every time we got paid. So that time adds up quick. You know what I'm saying? So it goes from you having 10 hours to before you know you got about 30 hours. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how often you work. So <clears throat> that's PTO. VTO is voluntary time off. A lot of people kind of sleep on this one, but a lot of times Amazon don't need that many bodies there. So you can go in it, use your badge. When you come in, use your badge. You go to the computer and you can like scan your badge. You scan your badge. Now you gotta, yeah, you go, you scan your badge and it'll say, are you interested in VTO? You scan your badge and say, boom, you're in a VTO interest list. Like I said, VTO is voluntary time off and you get entered on that and then boom your manager before you know it like sometimes in the start of the shift i know back like over the summer like in the start of the shift the managers will come up to you and be like hey do you want vto you're like yeah sure now you get to go home so that's i think that's the cool thing about uh amazon that a lot of other jobs don't have is like they actually encourage you to take this voluntary time off um then the other one is upt which is unpaid time uh, basically they give you 20 hours every quarter. You get 20 hours of that every quarter on top of the pay time off on top of vacation time and on top of VTO. Obviously in their peak seasons, they're going to have times where you're, you know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're not going to want it, but it just really depends on you as a person. I don't know. A lot of people want time off. Some people want to work the other thing. Then there is VET, voluntary extra time. Now, voluntary extra time means um, in your Amazon A to Z app on your phone, Amazon basically Amazon basically has different shifts. You know what I mean? It depends on your shift. Uh, the fulfillment center I work at, you know, there's the morning and, and, the, and the night shift. So if you want to take a morning shift, if you're on the morning shift, they'll give you one. So let's say you work four days, you know, four 10-hour days, and you have three days off, and you work... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but you want to take that Friday of extra time, then boom, you can take that. Um, which, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people take it. A lot of people take the extra time. A lot of people want VTO. So it really just varies. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> uh, the guy, he, he, he asked me in the last video about um, the point system. Um, so, so the point system, about the point system, there is... The seasonal badges, there's the people who come in for seasonal. There's the, the blue badges. The blue badges are the full-time associates, are permanent, basically. And then there's the white badges, which are uh, temporary. I, th I think it's seasonal or temporary. But. So the white badges are the temporary and the seasonal, I believe. And the blue badges are the permanent. So as far as from what I'm told, I believe the white badges go by a point system. So... There is no point system if you are a blue badge. The blue badge is just based on, like I said, the UPT you have, the pay time off you have, and the vacation time. But in the thing, how Amazon works is like, here's a little trick. Like, it's weird, but Amazon, if you get below like 14 hours of UPT, um, or actually, if you use all your UPT, you can be terminated. So basically, I understand a lot of people are like, oh man, you know, I got emergency stuff like that, but. That's just how their system works. I, I, I don't make the rules, obviously. It's not something, but... Um, so, yeah, the UPT works like that. So, basically, you have to just kind of, you know, I guess, work your four days. But to me, I'm like, man, you got to think about it. You only work four days out of the week, and then you got three days off. It's not like you work a regular nine to five where you have five days, and then you're on two days, and then you're like... You know, I think it's pretty good if they give you three days off, and you work 10, 10 hours or you'd work 
four or ten hour shift, ten hour, ten hour shifts. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's that's that. Now, I'm also going to address something else because a lot of people, they quit because they're like, oh, man, you're doing the same thing all the time. The thing is, inside the Amazon Fulfillment Center, they actually encourage you to apply for other positions. And a lot of people, I don't believe a lot of people know this, but you can actually go apply to be something else. So you don't always have to be doing the dreadful uh, packing or stowing or picking all the time. You don't always have to do those positions. Inside the fulfillment center, um, I forgot what the room is actually called, but there's a room. And if you don't, obviously, I don't know. I might not know the room, but I know exactly where it's at. But you could just ask somebody in HR. They encourage people to apply for other positions. A lot of people don't understand this, but you can actually go apply for an internal position and literally get trained for it within the next week. You know what I mean? A lot of people. Now, obviously, if you're if it's your first um, if it's your first month there, then obviously you're not going to be able to do it because you have to get, I guess, 30 days in. You have to be a blue badge for at least 30 days. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's to kind of see where you're if you're committed or not. Uh, so you have to be there for 30 days at least, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's that's what it is. So the different roles that they have, obviously, like I said, the, the basic ones, the, the, the ones we first start off as the picker, the packer, or the store, or whatever. Now, within those roles, <clears throat> there are other better roles where you don't always have to do physical work. And this was a lot of people don't understand and they quit within a couple weeks because they're like oh man this is if this is how it's going to be bro you can apply for anything out of there now i'm going to talk about a few of those but now from my perspective and working in the pack department there is uh the rebender the rebender is the person who works on the opposite side of the packer um and basically what they do is um the 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 products come down this little line and they just rebend it and put it into the chute. The chute is where the packers basically takes the packages. I mean, the, the products and they pack. So the, the rebender takes the packages. And now in order for that to come down, there's a guy called the inductor. The inductor is the guy who is all he doing is he uses to take this yellow toe, scans it and scans it. You know, the barcode scanner. Boom, boom, drops in the thing and it just goes up. And that's all you're doing. Skeet. Deep, just beeping it the whole time and it's just dropping the thing. It's so simple. Rebending and inducting is probably the, like I believe in pack station or the pack department is probably the easiest one out of there. My little brother, he works in the ship docks uh in fulfillment and he says they practically does nothing. So if you're watching these other videos out there and the people are like, man, I quit within a month because we was doing now I, I, I never worked in the, the pick or the, the stove. So I don't know how it is, but even if you was to put in a, a, a effort of one month, you still have after that month, you still have the ability to apply for other things. Now, uh, like I said, the rebender and the inductor, then there's the water spider. The water spider is basically the guy who supplies you boxes on the other side of the so on the other side of the packer so he makes sure that you have your supplies um he just boom boom you know put your boxes up your jiffies or to the envelopes that you get and he just makes sure that you have all that stuff so when you see that guy on the other side that's the water spider and um it just every job varies you know what i'm saying obviously for me i'm just like when i get in there i like i don't want to keep doing the same stuff so you have to be on the managers about training you to do other things or you can go to the computer and they'll usually just come get you and, you know, get you on some other stuff. So. So there was the inductor, like I said, and this is just within the pack department. I don't know about the other uh, departments, but I know in the pack department, there's other positions, you know, what I'm saying basically, you know, what I'm saying. but within the pack department, like I said, I said the rebender just takes the product from the, uh, the bin and puts it into the chute where the packer then takes it. But that's a whole nother process that has to be explained in and of itself. I'm just kind of giving you a visualization of what it might be or what it is. Then the inductor, boom. Then from there, like I said, there's the water spider. He supplies the boxes. Then you have the problem solver. The problem solver is a person who basically solves all of the problems. So like um, if you're packing or whatever, 
um, you basically um, you might come up on a leaky package or a, a leaky product or something. You mark it as damaged, you scan it as damaged, and then boom, put in the problem solved tote. There's going to be a tote on the side of you, so you're going to be able to put it in. But this is only if you work in the pack department. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how stole and you know the other departments work, but that's just my experience in pack. You know what I'm saying? And then that's just problem solved. They just solve all the the package problems. So any discrepancies or you know if people overpacked or packed too many items and they weren't the the right amount they fix all those problems that's all the problem does problem solver does and that's actually a good thing to do because they don't always have to do that stuff a lot of people enjoy doing that uh another position is slam operators now slam operator <laughs> is basically this is in the back department i don't know any other any other departments but in the pack department the slam operator so by this time the package is already packed it comes down the conveyor belt boom and then as the boom it comes down it slaps the this is where it finally finalizes that kind of but it has when it gets the the address uh postage on there boom or whatever that's what the, the slam operator offset uh does that but where where the slam operator comes crucial at is because he fixes the problems or he or she he fixes the problem that goes on with the package so sometimes people might have put too many like i said they're, it's, they're they're kind of the same as the problem solver but the problem solver does not work at the slam spot they work at the problem solve because they have a lot more other stuff they have to do within the pack department so the slam operator is just kind of catching that package before it finalizes you pick up the package and it, it'll like literally the machine will kick it out to you and then you just have to basically open it up and sometimes for instance like the the package might call for like one bottle of water right but because the same barcode is in a a, a 12 package or whatever right that same barcode somebody whoever somebody messed up down the line because they were supposed to get that a quantity right but they messed up and they sent out a case instead of just sending out one bottle of water so the packer he doesn't know because a lot of times they don't pay attention to the screen and what he does or he or she does is they'll scan the whole thing and just drop it in there without looking at the screen that actually calls for one. But instead, they put a 12 ounce and a 12 pack in there. So you see what I'm saying? The slam operator just catches all that. The machine say, hey, you need to fix this package because it's you have to bam. And basically, you have to just say, hey. It's too many in here, basically. And uh, the, the, the slam operated computer just say, hey. It's 12, it's supposed to be one and not 12. I'm sorry, I kind of got lost a little bit. Um, then within the part department, there's other things like process guide, process assistant. Uh, you can apply for these positions. Um, it's not hard, guys. And the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people, they watch these videos, and I've seen a lot of these videos. They, they watch these videos for a reason, but you can't go in there and assuming like you're going to be in this modern day slavery thing. I actually hate the idea of it because I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I, the people looking for that is like, wow, it's crazy. But you're not in there to, to just work, 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 you, till you break it yourself, you know. You're in there to learn, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're, you're like I said, you just dare to like move up if you want to like saying you know take the initiative a lot of people they just sit around and they just wait for somebody to give them something you can't expect for these people to be like oh well maybe this person wants to be something else you know you have to actually speak up and like use your resources and that's what amazon does um but also how do we get to that part um i didn't explain the health benefits um the health benefits basically you have to pay for health benefits. They give you a sheet. You apply for health benefits. Um, and basically, yeah, you they kick in like right away, I believe. I believe they kick in right away. But I'm not too sure um, as far as that. Now, um, yeah. So, I don't know, guys. If you really want to watch another video, I can break down some more stuff. Like basically what I hate about Amazon or like the favorite sim and if you want to if you want to hear more of this stuff just let me know uh like subscribe and uh tune in and uh let me know I'll be kicking out some more videos
And uh, yeah, we'll see how it go. All right, thank you.